my lovers and Virgo Nation and their lovers. <laughs> um, welcome to your August. It's August. Yeah, I'm putting up. Uh, I'm putting them up early so I can always be on time for you guys. Um, your August 2019 reading, lovely. Um, Virgo, you know I have a special. You have a special place in my heart. My dad is a Virgo. My love is a Virgo. Always attracted to Virgo men. I love the Virgo madness. Don't get offended. You guys know that there is a dark side to you that I absolutely love. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of kooky, but I love it. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, the Virgo madness, you got me. <laughs> you got me. You got me. You know, but Virgos and Tauruses, they always have that affinity for each other. I don't know why. It's just there's always that affinity. So, I love them. Um, I love you guys. Okay, so what I want to tell you before we get into this reading. Okay, um, I'm going to launch my Patreon. I, by the time you watch this, I would have launched my Patreon channel, my Patreon page. So it's going to be five, 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 five dollars and fifty-five cents per month. And with that, you get access to all the extended readings. So on my main page, you're going to get the video that has who's coming through in the message. So that's how you're going to know if the message is for you, if it's your person or your energy coming through. Um, how are they thinking about you mentally? What's happening in their headspace when they think about you? And then you're going to get what are the blockages in the relationship? If you sign up for the Patreon now, you get the extended version. And in the extended version, then we look at how they're feeling about you. So heart space energy. What are they hiding or not telling you? Um, messages from their higher self. Future actions towards you. And then we also look at if any of you guys are in a karmic or third party situation, we look at what's happening here. So none of the karmic reads are on my pa main page. I don't put third party energy on my main page. I'm not polluting it with that. Because as far as I'm concerned, they don't exist, right? <laughs> so you're going to find that in the extended version, though. And then all my extended reads, um, there's going to be a weekly karmic read that's going to be there. Um, your extended um, same-sex same reads, all of that um, is going to be on my Patreon page. So if you've been thinking of a way to have an energy exchange with me and you couldn't afford my deck or you couldn't afford a reading, I, I would love it if you would support me in that way. I'm hoping that you'll be able to find, you know, five dollars and 55 cents per month to help me and support the channel because if if my readings help you let's have that energy exchange all right let's get into this guys i'm excited virgo nation let's see what's happening with your love so whoever you're watching this reading for let's see let's see who's coming through right and this is how you weed out this reading um if this part doesn't gel with you in any manner then this this message isn't for you okay <clears throat> now remember this is energy so it could be flipped okay so maybe when you're watching um it sounds more like your energy mm, that'd be kind of sucky but it's going to be good for cross watchers so you would have to go and watch um your person sign um and when you watch these readings and that's another thing i was supposed to tell you with the patreon page when you watch these readings, you're not going to only watch your sun sign. Please don't. Especially if it's for love. You might have more resonance if you watch your moon sign. Because that's your emotional body. Okay? So when you watch these readings, you watch your sun sign. You watch your moon sign. You watch your Venus sign. That's your sexy sign there. And then you watch your rising. A lot of people resonate more with their rising sign. So you have to watch four readings. And if you in the four readings there's triangulation, you get the same message then you know you're on point. You're on point. So don't think the $5.55 is just for one reading or whatever. Besides the extras, you have to watch about four readings in order to really get your messages. All right? All right, let's see who's coming through. Let's see what, 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 who wants to deliver a message to their Virgo? Who's this person that's coming through? Who's coming through for Virgo Nation? Okay, somebody that you're not talking to. <laughs> oh, maybe you have on and off communication because like they don't want to talk to you. Oh, but this is your lover. This is your lover. 
um, it's somebody that you have great passion and devotion for, or rather, somebody who has great passion and is devoted to you. This is your lover, and it might be a divine counterpart. Unbridled appreciation of someone or something. So this is person, um, unconditional love coming through for you. Unconditional love. Whoever this is, and I'm really getting that, it's either you guys aren't talking or the talking is kind of, you know, in and out sporadic. They have great passion and devotion. They are just definitely devoted to you. And they, they love you no matter what. No matter what. This person has unconditional love for you. Um, let's see. They have a shadow side. though. We have this Don Juan. It looks like a player. Using the power of romantic attraction for private agendas. So I'm getting that either in the past or even in the present. This person has been trying to manipulate your emotions. They do love you. But that doesn't mean... That they're not going to use your emotions against you. Okay? So they're here manipulating you. Because they know that the power that they have over you. Okay? And they're trying to leverage um, the intensity of your connection to get something. It could be to get, you know, marriage or whatever. Or, or a deeper commitment. It could be something like that. Or it could be something as sinister as trying to get money. Okay? Um, it says here, Father Energy. This person has a talent for creating and supporting life. Positive guiding light within a tribal unit. So this person that's coming through, they're a natural leader and, and they get this energy from their dad. You know, I think they had a good um, mentor or a good connection with their father. So they have this nurturing and protective energy about them and they're able to nurture life. This person wants to protect you. This is, a, this is a protector. Yeah, we're seeing some of their shadow side, but this person is a, is a protector and a leader. Oh, they're a gambler. They're willing to take, a li to take a risk. So this person, a light attribute, willingness to follow intuition, even when others doubt you. So this person... Is very much guided by their intuition. Um, they don't. They're willing to. They're a leader, right? So they're willing to stand alone. They don't care what other people say. They're willing to stand alone because they follow their own intuition. They follow the advice from the divine. The divine is who guides them. They don't allow their own intuition to be overridden by others. This is their message. This is their vision, and they're gonna hold to it. So this is not a people pleaser. There's somebody that's very comfortable marching to the beat of their own drum. This is a leader. Light attribute. It says engineer. Ability to give creative energy a practical expression. Talent for designing resolutions to come and deliver. So this person, a real troubleshooter. Um, innovative, creative, and able to um, find unique solutions to unique problems. A thinker. We're going to get nine cards because nine is the number of Virgo. <laughs> See how easy I did that? Nine is the number of Virgo, so we're going to get nine cards. So if this starts sounding like your person, this is your message here. Oh, prostitute in reverse, the shadow side. Let's see what this is about. Places material considerations and security above self-empowerment. So I'm getting that this person, whether in the past or in the present... Um, maybe hooked up in kind of um, dysfunctional or toxic relationships, all for material gain. So they prostituted their principles and ideologies um, just to be stable. Financially stable, maybe emotionally stable, that kind of thing. So they were willing to give up their own... Yeah, I'm getting principles. I keep getting principles. Their principles, their beliefs, um, just for financial stability. What else? So very much focused on the material world. Um, I think they measure themselves by what they can accomplish.
advocate you know what I'm getting manipulate each other manipulate people with their words um, why did I say each other I think maybe this is this is this particular card maybe it's for both of you embracing negative causes or committing to causes for personal gain so it looks like this person was would never be in a cause or um, or involved in any kind of venture if they didn't have some kind of profit to get from it whether it's some kind of emotional profit or financial profit I'm really getting financial profit so everything about this person was establishing you know um, was about establishing uh, 3d security and then it says artist expression a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses inspiring others to see life symbolically so this person um inspired others to see the beauty in everything even in the dark this is an artist and you know artists are special people because they create and they create all the time so they're able to harness that and that creative energy from spirit and bam by the time they take that print brush and they go with that energy there they've created something that's never been on earth before so artists are creators they're, they're natural creators we have to learn how to co-create but artists this is their natural ability co-creating with spirit taking that energy and inspiration from spirit and bam splashing that on a canvas so this is what this person does takes that energy and inspiration from spirit and they're able to put it into a creative form whether through music art um writing what whatever it is to inspire other people and then it says here pioneer so they're they're not afraid to go to involve themselves in innovative or novel um projects they're not afraid to go their part alone to strike out on their own you know to um cut their own path in the world so it says here passion for doing and creating what has not been done before so this is an innovator an entrepreneur A visionary it's a visionary all right so let's see what this person's coming to say how are they f thinking about or processing about what processing about what am i saying um when they think about you think about this connection how are they processing it mentally what's the logic what's happening in their headspace This is not the deck I'm, I'm meant to use, but I'm going to roll with it. I meant to use the other deck, but I picked up this deck for a reason. This is Tarot Illuminati, so maybe this person's full of mysticism. Okay. It's so weird because the reading that I uploaded today, the general reading, this was the first card out, the Prince of Cups. So this is the Knight of Cups. So this is the energy of them that's coming through right there. They have love that they would like to share with you. This is the Knight of Cups energy. They have love. The Knight of Cups coming towards the Queen of Cups. So much love here. And they want to get rid of all that sneaky behavior that was hampering you guys' progress. Because this is how they see you. Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. Independent. All right, let's get this. When they think about you, they think about this connection. How are they processing it mentally? Oh my word. This is how they see you. Now it could this could signal the presence of a third party. I'm not saying no. But this is how they're seeing you. Because I asked how they're viewing you. You're the Empress. So um, for a lot of you, maybe um, Yeah. This is Taurus energy, Libra energy. This is how they're seeing you. The Empress is um, the complete person. So Emperor or Empress energy, that's how they're seeing you. So you're emotionally mature, um, abundant in the material world, good communicator, connected to spirit. That is how they're seeing you. Empress energy right through. So you are the Empress or Emperor. Take it how it resonates. And here they are. 
um they want to come and offer you love you know usually the princess of cups which is a page of cups that's an apology as well okay so it could be that this person might have done you wrong in the past and i'm really getting the fact the message here that they're coming forward to, to speak their truth this fish is blue 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 ocean lots of blue in this card so this talks about speaking your truth but i think it's speaking your truth driven by your heart space Green is all about the emotions and heart space. So this person, I think they're, they're coming to deliver a message to you. I'm really feeling it's an apology. But there's also a lot of love there as well. They're coming to make you some kind of offer. I told you. They're coming to speak their truth because they have clarity about the situation now. I'm getting the feeling that before they weren't clear on their emotions. See the amount of green here. They weren't clear on your, their emotions and how and who you were. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting. They weren't clear on who you were in their life. Like they felt this connection towards you, but they wasn't sure what it was about. You know? So this is the Ace of Swords. So this is all about truth and forging a new beginning by using truth because this person has finally gotten clarity on the situation so that's gemini libra aquarius energy there um this person is currently going through a transformation whoever this is this is death but death in reverse and they're fighting this transformation by the way they're fighting this transformation so this transformation isn't complete so this is scorpio energy so this person is going through a transformation and i'm getting the feeling that you were a major catalyst where this person was concerned you have a you had a major role to play um in this transformation here yeah because this when this is upright this is you know the death of the old self and something new is coming forth right but it's now in re it's in reverse. So this person is in the midst of a transformation, and they're fighting <clears throat> this transformation tooth and nail. Their ego is fighting this stubborn energy here. <laughs> what do they think about? They think about commitment. They think about marriage. Um, really coming to offer you something solid. Bloody hell, why is this lamb here? This, I've never seen a lamb on a hierophant. So it's significant. Lamb, lamb of God. Um, so maybe this is a connection that's been brought together by the divine. It's been blessed by the divine. And the lamb is there looking on. Or maybe there's something that has to be sacrificed because the sacrificial lamb as well it could be that as well there's something that has to be sacrificed in order for you guys to come back together or for you guys to be together permanently something has to sacrifice whether it's really whether it's religious beliefs or someone else or marriage or something like that yeah this person all they're thinking about is offering you love first card in the bottom of the deck and now it's it's hair again all this person is thinking about is coming to offer you love. Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy here. This is a Taurus. So a lot of you will be dealing with a Taurus. Naturally, I told you. Taurus and Virgo, we have a natural affinity. Oh my goodness. But there's a cycle of pain that this person is refusing to let go of. Um, maybe there was some kind of betrayal. So this could be... Um, they might be thinking about how they betrayed you or they could be thinking about how you betrayed them so there's a cycle of pain that they just can't seem to get over you see when this is in your pride the single's the end of pain but it's in reverse and i think this is what is holding back the transformation um your person virgo is thinking about past hurt and they just can't seem to release this energy this is their this is their challenge right now releasing this old energy here whether it's their guilt or the resentment from the past. And it doesn't even have to be with you. This could be past relationships that are hampering them. 
that's holding on to them like tentacles you see the tentacles on my screen it's holding on to them like tentacles and preventing them from progressing from progressing um in this connection they need to release that they need to let go they need to break free didn't even see that in that car floor yeah they know who you are six of cups they know you're a soulmate and they know that this is something divine you see look at the guide here looking on it's so weird my twins guy looks exactly like him yeah i've seen him yeah so there's a guy looking on making sure that this connection comes together this 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 whole connection is going through a rebirth as this person is transforming as you are transforming th th this connection is having a rebirth right now because the divine is making sure that it happens they're making sure that something stable is established this time you see this arch arch is about stability so a lot of water energy here cancer pisces scorpio and we have gemini libra aquarius and we have earth signs as well have not seen fire but that doesn't mean anything it just means this is the energy that your person is embodying what they're thinking about is this connection and they're thinking about how do i come towards my emperor or empress and offer this stability and this commitment that i want to offer how do i tell them about my love what's blocking this connection because this is lovely energy coming through here today what's blocking this connection right now <laughs> somebody's in helmet mode <laughs> You know what's blocking this connection? You, Virgo. <laughs> you know, Hermit is you. And I told you I was taking nine cards because that's you. Yeah. So, Virgo, you're blocking this connection. <laughs> Somebody's in Hermit mode. Somebody's not communicating. Right? So, it doesn't have to be you, Virgo. I'm just kidding. But um, whoever's in Hermit mode right now is blocking this connection. So, that's Hermit mode. But it could also be as well. That somebody's also gone on an inner journey and this is something that is necessary for this connection to come together because maybe this person was operating unexamined you know some people just go through life and they don't reflect on the things that they've done or why certain things are happening to them or why they're manifesting certain things in their life they just keep going and going they don't want to look at themselves because there's too much hurt and pain there so just you know probably go from one connection to the other and not reflecting on what happened and what was their input because it always takes two so if all your relationships have been dysfunctional is because you have been dysfunctional to a degree it wasn't always the other person okay it takes two to manifest a, dif a dysfunctional relationship so this person is really looking at themselves really hard looking at the mirror and saying listen what did i do to sabotage myself okay What's blocking this connection? A king of swords, so it could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or this could just be somebody's not speaking their truth. Whoever it is, whether it's you, Virgo, whether it's your partner, somebody is not speaking their truth in this connection. Okay? Somebody's not living their authentic self. Somebody's afraid of what other people will think. Or somebody has someone else. <laughs> okay? So there could be third party energy. And we're going to take a look at that in um, the extended. Okay, what's blocking this connection? Somebody's refusing to let go of a burdensome situation. Somebody's been toting a lot around on their back for the longest time. Let me see what they've been toting around on their back. Why is this Ten of Wands here, Spirit? Our first fire sign, Leo Sagittarius Aries, in the blockage what's this person toting around that they can't let go of what's this burden something that this person is toting around why is this ten of wands here spirit <laughs> you can't make this shit up the empress so what are they thinking around a third party that's a lot of weight <laughs> yeah they've not been listening to their intuition 
so they're still holding on to this third party and what i'm also getting from this message as well um this third party could be their mom that mom influence that you know I, i'm getting the feeling you see this person you see how this woman is sitting on her throne she is in her power she has this shield powerful person very maybe very religious person as well i'm looking at the cross there um and this person this mom yeah this is mother energy um might have had a serious influence on this person and maybe they're trying to interfere in your connection right now um your person has to shake that off because at some point in time at some point you have to paddle your own canoe <laughs> as my father would say you have to paddle each man has to paddle his own canoe that's what being a man or being a woman is all about is standing up for what you believe in even even to your parents your parents aren't always right what's blocking this connection justice yes somebody's getting a karma somebody's getting their karma it's libra energy there somebody is getting their karma and that's what's holding up this connection what else is holding up this connection yeah so some people is get some people are getting their justice right now whatever this person has done in the past or it could even be you because all these cards aren't pertaining to your person this is just either of you so either of you did not examine themselves and are on an inner journey either of you may not be speaking your truth either of you might be toting around um things that no longer serve you either of you might be caught in a karmic cycle okay i mean might hear a lot of noise in the background and that's because um even though it's nice and sunny out here it's also raining so you might hear that as well so it's good for those who like white noise not so good for others that don't but it can't be helped i have to push out these readings for you guys all right what's blocking this connection somebody either you or your person have really kind of turned your back on this connection i think you think or they think that this connection is a lost cause and that they can't rally back and manifest it cancer pisces scorpio energy there so somebody is not accepting this gift from the universe they don't feel worthy they don't feel worthy they feel impoverished oh the sun what's blocking this connection people aren't staying optimistic about this connection that's one and two children might be blocking this connection maybe somebody found out somebody was pregnant or somebody had a child and they hadn't um, told their person about that before so there's that energy there too uh, the lovers of course what's blocking this connection somebody isn't making a choice in love they're not doing anything they're not taking action they're hoping that the universe will make this choice for them but uh, <laughs> trust me I think part of their transformation is changing the way that they do things. I get, I'm getting the feeling that this is the kind of person that always waited until the other person broke off um, relationships because they never want to be the guy, bad guy. So they've always left it up to fate. But I think part of their maturity right now is being able to choose and cut out things that aren't right for you. So somebody's not making a choice in love but the universe is um propelling them to make that choice for themselves what's blocking this connection king of cups in reverse somebody's in there expressing their love this virgo energy gemini energy leo energy here somebody's not expressing their love this is scorpio all this love bubbling up inside so intense lots of emotions going on but are they showing it nah <laughs> i'd rather not <laughs> you know that's the energy that they're going there so we're going to take this to the extended where we look at how this person's feeling about you the heart space and what's going on and what they might be hiding for you whether it's really a child um messages from their higher self future actions towards you and we are going to have a look at the karmic situation and now if you guys aren't joining me i thank you so much for all your support all your love i have the best subscribers Please hit that like button. It really helps me. Even if you can't, you know, do that energy exchange with me for Patreon, just hit the like button because that helps. 
and i thank you guys so much okay okay bye